Good morning, everybody, and it is a cold one today. I hope you're keeping warm. Uh, there's been a bit of a delay with this video. I was meant to put one out on Sunday, but I got about four minutes into the edit and it was so bad that one, I couldn't do it to myself, and two, there's no way I could do it to you all. So, to make up for it, today, Carol and I are going to Chateau de Fougère. Uh, Fougère is a town about 20 minutes from here and they have an 11th century chateau that is open to the public to, uh, to visit the grounds, uh, the gardens, they've got uh, a few shops and some artisanal tea rooms and the like. So that is what we're doing today and you lot are coming along too. Let's go. That is a cloudy overcast day, looking very grey. Hey, that rhymes. We got no fuel. Watch this. Oh, so close. There we go. That'll do. Merci, madame. Well, it started raining. It's always raining in Fougere. We are going to stop at this chocolatier and tea room just to wait out the bad weather. We'll be at the chateau soon, don't worry. Well, it's brightened up quite nicely, so let's head over to Chateau de Fougère. Yay! Okay, we have arrived at Chateau de Fougère. It is right behind me. Uh, I've had to put my glasses on my head because the mask steams them up so much that I can't see anything. But there it is. Let's, uh, let's get inside. Future Dan here. I've just put all my memory cards into the editing software and it turns out I have got no audio from my microphone after entering the chateau. So what I'm going to do instead is just put the uh, the scenery in and I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Uh, I can only apologise but these things happen mostly when you're an idiot like me. But enjoy nonetheless. <laughs> Right, we made it to the entrance. That was a nice little tour of the garden. Not too long, not too short. Let's get inside. Future Dan again. Uh, I bought Carol one of these for Christmas. This is an Editor Keys studio microphone uh, and it occurred to me that I could just do a bit of voiceover to try to salvage some of this nightmare video. Hope it's not too bad. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we are making our way into the chateau. This is the main gate, and here it is Chateau de Fougere. Let's have a wander around, shall we? 
To be perfectly honest, I wasn't going to talk too much through this video anyway because once I got into the grounds and noticed how amazing this place was, uh, I said that I was going to let the place speak for itself. But doing voiceover is fun too. This is one of the many ruined towers of the chateau that we'll be visiting today, but let's press on with the tour. And here we have some strange columns. Uh, I can't find anything on the grounds and what they're for. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. Well, well, well. Anybody tell me what this is? I've got no idea. Oh, it's a well. Let's have a look inside. Oh, that is really deep. Let's go in. And here we have my favorite things about these places is the clay structure of the chateau. Just looking at it from here and the scale model it is absolutely massive. I love it. I want one of these at home. Unfortunately, this area of the chateau is walled off to the public, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get down there today, which is a shame because it did look really interesting. Never mind, let's press on. And here we have a giant catapult slingshot looking thing. I love this. This is absolutely amazing. Must have been used in France to keep those pesky English from seizing all the chateau. Uh, this place was actually sieged by either Henry II or Edward II, I'm not sure which one, but again, let me know in the comments. It was actually retaken again by the Baron of Fougere and he used it exclusively as a stable to keep all his horses, which is a lot of luxury for a horse if you ask me. But if I was a horse, I wouldn't say nay. Okay, so I've made my way up one of the towers and I've come out at this wall here and just look at it. It is absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, Carol can't join me on this one because she's not 100% healed from her little ankle accident last week. So she's waiting for me in the car. Ain't she great? And here we have what looks like this guy's baby brother. I think this is a practice slingshot because just in the distance there you've got a little chateau model to aim at. So I assume this is used for training or maybe when there's no COVID they let the kids launch balls at it or something. Who knows? And it's just started to rain so it is definitely just like being back in England. All right, I have made it to the top and man that was a lot of stairs. But check out the view from the top of this place. And this lake here, this body of water, might be a good place to bring the drone up and just give you an eagle eye view of this place. Uh, it's always good to be on the lookout for places that are safe to fly because you never know what you might find. Bong, bong, bong. This was actually ringing, but my microphone died. And we've got this dungeon looking thing here and people seem to be throwing their pennies down there. Okay, I'll start to make my way back down and we'll see if we can take the drone up. Okay, so coming out the other side of that tower has actually taken me close to the start of the tour. So that is definitely the entire visit that I've done. Uh, I'll make my way back to the car now and I'll see if I can park up near that lake no promises, but I'll see if I can take the drone up. Let's go. I took the drone up. Let's have a look at that footage.
That was at Chateau de Fougere. That was a pleasant afternoon out, not too bad weather-wise. And I'm really pleased I was able to take the drone up to get an aerial view of that wonderful chateau. So that would do me for this video. There's just one thing I would like to mention. Um, my good friend Ryan told me about this, uh, this thing called Buy Me A Coffee. And I had a look at it because I closed my Patreon account because it just wasn't quite right for me. It wasn't a good fit for what I want to do. But I looked at Buy Me A Coffee and I was quite intrigued by that. So I have actually set one of them up as of this video. Um, but because I don't want to come across as greedy, what I'm going to do is see how this goes for the next two or three weeks. And if it does as well or better than uh, the ad revenue that I get from YouTube, I will just remove all my ads from future videos. Because if you're anything like me, I, mean, I personally pay to have these videos removed. I pay YouTube premium to have no ads. So uh, I, uh, <laughs> I'm fully sympathetic to how annoying they are. So link to buy me a coffee is in the description. Uh, no obligation, obviously, but uh, any support is greatly appreciated. So hopefully the next video will be part two of my last video. Logistically, it's been a bit of a nightmare getting everyone together on a day that everyone's free and there's no prior engagements or commitments. So hopefully by the end of this week, part two from the last video will be out with Billy and Ryan. We're driving to a place just outside of Alençon to film some more Chateau Ruins. So fingers crossed everyone's available this week. Anyway, I'll love you and leave you. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Love you lots. Bye.